Hi, hi, grace and peace. How's everybody doing? Hi. <laughs> now we gonna say hello kids. to the people, nominee. Hi. What's up, Dad? What you doing? So we had to run some errands. But we wanted to make sure we hopped on for Set em Free Saturday. Yes. Saturday, Saturday. So, we, um, me and the husband were talking. <laughs> He's a comedian, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Nathaniel McLaurin is hilarious. Like, the dude is just, look at him. He know he's funny. He be having jokes. So, <laughs> we came up with this topic because... Um, it was one day that I apparently Say deprived apple. him <laughs> of something. Tell him, <laughs> no. tell him, 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 free? Set him free? free All right, set so free. we're going to set y'all free. free. I'm going to set both you men and women, husband and wives, free specifically. So you are not to, ladies, you are not to, <laughs> don't, don't follow my example, you are not to deny your husband Anytime he comes to you and he has a need that needs to be met, you are to not deny your husband like I did. Say it again, Rudy. The other day. Tell <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. We both wanted to share that with you. And the same thing with you husbands, though. Like, what, it was something that my husband said so profound um, the other night. And I was like, mm. I married a good one. You want to repeat? You remember what you said about how about I would never allow my wife, if I know there's a need that needs to be met, I would never let her go the rest of that day or evening or whatever you said without that need being met. But you said it, it was more, it was more sophisticated. I I but, that, but it sounds like something I would say. It sounds like me. See, <laughs> the other night, I don't know if um, did you already start talking about it? I didn't hear Nam News. Screaming a lot. Did you already? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, yeah. Let me, I said. Let me break I said, it down. Okay. Hold on. Let me break it down. I said. Right. With ladies, you aren't to deny your husband. No, that's not and, what I'm asking. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I thought you. Were... I said, did you break down what you did? Oh, you I didn't. Go in detail at all. That's what I, I didn't that's go what into I asked. detail. You said I'm free I did. Saturday. I said I didn't go into detail because they don't need. I don't need to go into that detail. But just know that the reason why we came up with this topic to discuss was because he one evening um, he. You know, my husband was loving upon me. I have to admit, he just wanted some TLC for me, and I, I just, I denied him. I did. Um, no, it's not even so much to deny. You it know was what? just, I'm... I was tired, and it was. I can't even remember what else was going on, but nevertheless. But go ahead. What was you gonna say? No, I'm just gonna say, um, it was. After looking back on it, kind of funny because my wife, she, um, when it's time to go to sleep, she. She go for sleep. Like she could say something like, "All right, babe, when you get finished with that, come in the room. We gonna watch a movie." Like, All right, cool. So I come in the room, right? <laughs> After the first two times, I learned my lesson because I would come in and she'd be turned to the side of bed, like, uh. and when she make that noise, I know it's like, oh, yeah, she's gonna be sleep all night. Like, there's no reason I should even expect to watch a movie with her because when she goes to bed, like, you know, she's out. But one particular evening. I don't know, she was, I guess, tired, her body was, like, she was going through. And, um, you know, I was in the process of, you know, wanting some quality time, right? And she was like, and this is how she said it. She was like, Daniel, listen, I love you. I do, I do, I am tired. And I was just like, what? Are you tired? And then she turned over and she did that. Uh, I was like, oh, shit. You know, and then, you know, as a man, you know, you hear a lot of stories. Like one time I'm watching a movie, I think a Tyler Perry movie, and the people in the background, they're like, take it, just take it, brother, take it. You know, and I was thinking to myself, like, I would never want my wife to feel like, you know, she was being violated even from her husband, you know? And I wanted to feel like, even in the, in the process of her learning how to, like, still take care of me as you know um as my wife like i don't want her to ever feel like i'm being too aggressive or bring back some bad memories or things she's ever dealt with you know at the end of the day i want to make sure i still minister to her i'll be impatient you know what i'm saying i'll let it go but the next day <laughs> trust me i brought it back to her attention <laughs> all right because <laughs> look at the end of the day it's like this you know 
I want to do whatever it takes, not just, you know, in the bedroom. Um, Faith, cover your ears, Faith. <laughs> but just even, <laughs> but, but even, but even like, you know, financially, um, uh, emotionally, intellectually, I want to give her a stimulating conversation. You know, I wanted her to feel like at the end of the day, there's, there's no other man that can take my place, you know, so she can be able to talk to me about social inequality, you know, um, what's going on on social media, what's going on in the news, you know, what's going on at her job. Yes. <laughs> right. And see, I'm going to have more bundles of joy like that one back there, you know. And in time, we'll, you know, we'll have some more. Yes. Okay, about to go into the store so you can ride the rides, okay? Okay. See, this is another thing. Because of the pandemic, we can't do too much. So, a highlight weekend for us is taking our daughter into the mall so she can ride the little ride. This is our date night. Matter of fact, I should have got the <laughs> lights off. I like get some lights off. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so the whole situation was, you know, me um, having to, like, shut my flesh down and realize at that moment I really want to take time to minister to her heart to her person you know at that moment it wasn't about just taking it it wasn't about just you know me getting mine it was about you know a learning moment you know but like I told her the other day we're not gonna have a lot of these learning moments you know what I'm saying you know that was just a situation where I, I chose to use it as a way to minister to her to her need to just relax get, and get sleep you know but um I you know moving forward we was able to you know connect after that so it's not all about just um having that feeling it's about you know the big picture and the big yeah. picture is making sure we're connected you know yeah and i mean like he said it's not all about um you know and your marriage is not all about sex you also need to connect emotionally spiritually but um it was funny because he was trying to be funny and he sent me a scripture about it um and you know in um first corinthians 7 5 i'm gonna read it it says do not deprive one another except with consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again so that satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control so in other words like you know he he even though he didn't get a chance to minister me minister to me physically <laughs> Like he wanted to that specific night. He still ministered to me because he let me know, you know We talked about it and he was like, you know, we never want to give room for the enemy 